And how healthy are you guys this week? Say it again. How healthy? Uh, we'll see. Kind of still sorting through it. Uh, Jay Led's going to be done for the year with a knee. Um, some other guys. That's I guess uh, Hollywood. We'll see how what comes along this week. Hopefully, get him back out there. Garrett should be back out there. And I think other than that, we're pretty clean. Been rough for your knee lineman this year. You just talk about how difficult that might may have been. Yeah, I mean, like any any position, you know, you got to get guys ready to play, and certain guys take on bigger roles, you know what I mean, things like that, and they got to play different spots. But they're they're battling, hanging in. Um, but we definitely got nicked um, on the D line this year. But um, that's like everybody in the NFL, though they got to go through different things like that. So I'm proud of the guys how they're battling, different spots they're playing, some of the production, and put together a good plan this week and go to work. Yeah, I thought he played well. He handled the huddle well. We didn't have any errors there. Um, made some plays in the pass and run game. Thought he played well. How about Owen? How do you think he did in his first extended action? Pretty good. He's been getting some snaps on pass downs, and then came in and he did he did a pretty good job. Some things we got to get cleaned up, but um, you know, reps are gold right now uh, for those guys, and he'll take the next step. How? How positive, if there's a positive in everything, how much is it that some of the younger guys have probably gotten a lot more snaps than maybe they would have had it not been for some of the guys that were on? Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I just look at it as, it as probably, you know, the, the biggest learning tool you have, in my opinion. Uh, there's a lot of them, but the biggest one you have are game reps. And, um, you know, to be in the game, to go against a different opponent when it matters, when it counts, under the lights. Um, those are huge reps. So I think from that standpoint, um, you know, for the, some of those younger guys, as you're talking about, those are huge reps for them. They're big time learning experiences for them. And they should then improve from those reps. So the growth that you want to see from guys playing should should happen because now they're getting experience. So. Um, from that standpoint, it is a positive. When it comes to Hollywood, two games left. With, do you just do you need him to be hundred percent, or do you need him to be better than he? No, I just got to make sure. I, what I need from him is make sure that he can be the player that he is and help us win the game, and make sure that he's healthy enough to do that. Back to the younger question there about on, on the defensive back area. You've got a lot of young guys, mm -hmm. and they're getting a ton of snaps. Yeah. <clears throat> With that position group specifically, can you talk about what you've seen from those young guys? Yeah, I mean, the first thing I look for is, you know, the technique, has that improved? You know, and they play a bunch of different techniques. Or is that improving? Um, just how we match routes and win our leverage and our eye discipline, is that getting better? Um, and then from, the, from that, um, that goes on in practice and in the games. But then I'm looking for production. You know, when the ball comes to you, I always say, like, there's a point of attack tape on all these guys. When the ball comes to you in the runner pass game, do you make it? And how often do you make it? And um, I think that we've seen that uptick a little bit, which is good. So that's it's just like any position, you know, Bob, but especially those guys playing on the outside, they have a hard job. And they're in a lot of stress a lot of times playing really good players, but that's valuable for those guys. And, and I think that they've done a good job of improving those things I just talked about. Um, then it comes down to how many more plays can we make throughout a game? Uh, can you make more plays in practice so then you can make them in the game? And they're working at it, doing a good job. Now that he's back from the injury, um, why do you think Michael Wilson isn't able to make more of an impact? I know it's not all, always on him. No, no, he, he'll, he's making his impact. He, he, there were some things that went on in the game yesterday or on Sunday. Um, some of the coverage structures, they're kind of playing two over one on them. Um, so the ball's got to go to another place, you know what I mean? But he'll continue to get his reps and learning experiences, just like we're talking about these other guys. And when, when the ball finds him, he'll make plays. Is Paris uh, always taking forward progress this year, or, or does he add some? Stutter steps and that taking a step back to get back. 
Has it been all steady, slow, or is it? Yeah, I think there, there's been, no, I think there's, he's, he's taken a steady progression with everything. Now, there's games where um, he probably plays a little better than other games. So if you looked at it like that, you know, maybe is it not just on game day, but throughout the week, um, I think that throughout the year, he's done a better job with technique, things that he wanted to work on. Um, like I said, I think really the mental part, he's really taken strides with being able to see things a little bit quicker, adjust a little bit quicker, get to his technique quicker. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, I really like where he's at, the matchups that he's had week in and week out. Um, versus premium players, you know, um, had to block another one this week, and uh, he's been doing a good job with it. So, really like where he's at, and I thought he's he's had a really good year. Do you keep him at right tackle? Is <coughs> that he's a right tackle? Yeah, I mean, we'll we'll see. You always make the best decision for the team. So, as we sit here today, yeah, but um, you you never know moving down the road, you know. I know you were talking about everybody's got to deal with the injuries. Let's say on the defensive line. How much harder, though, does that make the job in terms of maybe like the rush defense? Obviously, I'm sure you're giving up more yards on the ground than you'd like. The, the fact that you just keep losing pieces can't help that progress, can it? I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's hard. When, you, when guys' roles are changing, you have to find ways to play winning football on that side of the defense with different guys in. Um, now, with saying that, I feel that good about everybody that we have in here, and that's why practice squad is so so huge and depth behind. You know, starting week one, we look a lot different right now with, you know, one on through the eighth guy. Um, but it's our job to get them ready to play, get them in the right spots, playing with the right technique and motor, and then it's their job to maximize their five buckets as we talk about and play winning football for us. Going back to Philly this week, coach, what, what do you think that's going to be like for you? Uh, next game on the schedule. Um, really good football team. You know, it'd be good to see Nick and and the coaches over there and Howie. But um, you know, just like any other week, it's the when the whistle blows, it's compete, compete, compete. Have you talked to Nick at all throughout the season? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's 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 helped me a good deal moving throughout this year with some different things. So he's always a resource for me. You know, you know, obviously we're extremely tight, but. Um, yeah, it'll be, you know, the Eagles versus the Cardinals, compete, compete, compete. Do you pay much attention to the Eagles this year just because of you? Uh, just, just as I started on Monday, you know what I mean, <laughs> yesterday. Um, so I know they're, whether they're 11 and 4, battling for the one seed, really good football team. All three phases, um, you know, a lot of premium players, a lot of good players over there, well coached, they play hard. Uh, it's going to be a big time challenge. And will he be received by the fans? I'm not really concerned about it. You mentioned uh, after the game against the Bears that play extension is one of the yeah. things that really hurts you when you're going against a quarterback like yeah. Jalen Hurts. How do you? What do you do specifically to try to limit that throughout the week? And yeah. then obviously, on game. he's one of the best at it in the world. Um, so. Yeah, we, we got to do a better job of that. You know, I thought we did some good things at times, but, you know, the, the, execution, the execution and some of the things that we had structured just didn't really come to fruition like we thought. Um, we got to do a better job in that sense because, you know, this opponent, um, when he extends plays, he throws it over your head or there's no one around him and he runs it for an explosive. So. Uh, we got to do a good job. That's going to be, you know, uh, an emphasis this week because that's part of his game that he does really well. How much of the familiarity, like because you've coached against him at practice for those two years, how much of that familiarity does that does that help you guys this week? Yeah, you use every tool. You know what I mean. But they're they're a little bit of a different team too. As I'm watching the tape now, you know they got some different people in there and a new play caller. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll use the things that we think can help us win. How much more does the uh, defensive line rotation, I guess, just change with Ledbetter being out? Do you have to give him, do you up the snaps for the whole rotation as a whole, or 
How do you go about that? Yeah, it kind of – we'll set up a plan for that with the five guys up and then see who's playing inside, outside-ish. You know what I mean? When I say outside, three technique, four, I, five, who's playing nose and shade and those things and try to make sure we have that balanced out as much as we can. But certain guys are going to play a little bit more than others. That's how it always is, and then see how the game goes. You know, a lot of that too is predicated on how they decide to play us. You know, how many guys are in, so uh, they'll be ready to go. Coach, do you create points of emphasis each week in terms of position groups, offense, defense, or the things you want to focus on with that group that particular week, this particular yeah, week? Yeah, I would say as a team, offense, defense, special teams, there's a kind of a winning edge that we talk about, um, and then through each unit and each position group, there's things that we make an emphasis on to make sure that we do a little bit better than we did the last week or the last couple weeks, or really how it impacts this week too. So you don't want to emphasize something that's not going to come up a lot in a game. You know, you kind of want to emphasize the things that um, are pertinent to the opponent as well. So our coaches have done a pretty good job with that, I think, and uh, our players take to that too. What was your, your thought process on the going for two on that first, that, after that one touchdown and then fourth and six, <coughs> deep in your own territory, time on the clock and still having all three of your time on? Uh, the first process is do you want to define what you need at the end of the game. The second one was I felt like we were down to our last possession there. How much time was on the f – how much time? About three minutes. Yeah, and I think I had how many timeouts? All of them. I had all of them. Yeah, I thought that was kind of the last possession we were going to get there. Um, so there's, there's always those decisions you got to make. Um, you know, you guys don't know this, but it, it hasn't come up a ton. But – um, you know, you the the going for two there, um, that shows in my mind. I'm pretty convicted most games because it can change a little bit. But you want to define what you need at end of, at the end of the game because it puts different emphasis on how you play offense and defense when you either have the ball or don't have the ball. So I like that decision there. He's kind of like more rattled than he's been at all this year. I don't know why exactly that was, but what was it something that what was their defense doing to make him look a little out of sorts? Mm, I don't think he was more rattled. I think he, they did do a good job um, in our game. I thought of disguise. Um, you know, credit to them. I thought they disguised a little bit better. Say it again. No, no, more the back end. So maybe you see, you know, what you're seeing as rattled. I think it's what I'm seeing is is him having to go through different progressions and try to go different places with the ball. Um, when you think one thing before the ball snapped and then the ball gets snapped and it's something else, you're going to have to find different things to go to. So um, I thought he did a good job handling it. I know they sacked us a few times there. Ball's got to come out a little bit quicker. We got to get out of the pocket and go. But um, I thought he was okay. He's out of that this week too. Yeah, I haven't started watching their defense too much, so I got to get on that. But yeah, I'm sure they disguise. Is, uh, is Garrett's situation related to his surgery, or is this a new kind of? Injury? No, I think he'll he'll we'll see how he is this week. He, he should be ready to go. It's just a little bit of uh, same same body part, but a little bit different. Honestly, um, you know, when you're coming off of an injury like he did. You know, there's some residual effects of playing how much he's played in the last month here that we just needed to take care of. How important was that for him that they play so well I get those snaps? Garrett? Yeah. Huge. Huge. Just like all our guys. You know what I mean? Those those reps are are gold. You know what I mean? And he's done a good job for us in there. Going off of uh, off of Howard's question about the two point conversion and the fourth down attempts, statistically this year it hasn't been it hasn't gone well for the team. How much of it has been a matter of as much as it's about winning the game and putting yourself in position to win the game, is it about setting the foundation that this is a team that wants to be aggressive as the year goes on? I wouldn't think it's – I wouldn't say aggressive. It's how we decide to set up the game and those decisions that go into into winning the game um, and what we think is best. You, you can't look at the outcome. you got to look at the, how you're coming into that decision and what and how does that impact the rest of the game, which I feel really good about our decision-making there. Yes, we need to do a better job. Um, on got to have it plays, in my opinion, on two point plays, you know, that'll that'll never be good enough unless you're one across the league. You know what I mean? So um, but we're not going to I'm not going to make the incorrect decision because I don't think we're going to create a play. You know what I mean? I want to make sure that we're going through our process and making the correct decision for the game. 
You got to you got to research. You got to teach it. You got to coach it. You got to practice it. And you got to have guys make plays. So, um, but I feel good with what's on the sheet there and what he's calling, and um, we just got to do a good job executing. Eagles and Seahawks will be <clears throat> playing for playoff seating, division title. You in the playoffs? You're not getting the playoffs. What do you think about the idea of playing spoiler? Uh, it, I mean, Philadelphia Eagles. You know, that's I don't I don't think that's something not in my brain of playing spoiler. I want to try to do a good enough job this week to give ourselves a chance to win.